Namaste everybody. Welcome to the virtual class of grade 9 English. Today we are doing unit 2 of uh, compulsory English. Here is the topic. Unit 2, suggesting, advising and persuading. So under this topic we'll be doing a reading comprehension and here Nima's letter to her brother is the title. So before actually entering the text, uh, let me tell you what is a letter. A letter is a written or typed or printed message, especially sent by a person uh, in an envelope by post or by um, messenger or by email. So it means a letter is written. Why people write letters? It is because it is written for information or it is written for uh, communication or uh, to give some um, information or it is written as a message you know so uh, let me tell you here in this unit we'll be focused on some suggestions advices uh, or you know some acts of persuasion and there are some same kind of structures there so in uh, before uh, we do this let me show you two pictures here please have a look on the screen this is just a photo snap of uh, two letters here. You can see on the top, you know, the White House, Washington. Uh, then uh, there is date. Why I'm to telling you all this is because there are, you know, different parts of letter. Uh, you might have got the idea, you know, wh how to write a letter here. So first of all, there is heading. This section is called heading. Then there is date, this uh, address and date come under heading then uh, there is you know um, salutation like dear friends or dear Ram dear Sam or we we salute or we greet someone uh, somebody uh, to whom we are writing the letter then there is body paragraph we're not actually going through the, um, the letter here in detail just I want to show you the sample of the letter and here is closing you know sincerely and there is signature Michelle Obama so like this, let me take you to another. Same here. You can see on top, you know, in the, uh, on the right hand uh, corner on the top, you can see address, then date, same format, you know. Then there comes um, salutation, dear Vishnu, then the beginning. This is the body, you know, body of the letter. Uh, it may contain some paragraphs here. Uh, not, um, it is not necessary to write one or two or three paragraphs. Um, as much as you as much uh, as you want to write you can write here then he, there is ending this is closing then signature or you write your name so now this uh, these are the parts of the letter now let me take you to the text for today this is nima's letter you know nima's letter to her brother so we will go through the letter here written by nima to her brother and here I want to show you on the screen. Nima's letter to her brother. Read the letter written to Lakpa by his sister, Nima, and find out the advice and suggestions she has given to him. So here is the text. Uh, you can have a, uh, have a look uh, at a book also. Uh, there you can see on page number 12 and 13, uh, we have got the letter. So on top, what do you see? You see there the River Dewfield, Field, Chester, UK, 21st April 2015. This is what? This is the heading of the letter. Uh, it means Nima is writing this letter from where? From the River Dewfield, Field, Chester, UK, 21st April 2015. In this letter, Nima has, you know, given uh, some advice to brother especially on how to improve English so here uh, maybe brother has asked uh, for some suggestions so she has, she's giving some suggestions here and um, please don't forget to highlight or to underline the suggestions wherever you find them I'll be telling you uh, while uh, going through the letter here so please get uh, you can get ready I hope you are ready with uh, your pencil or with uh, your textbook there so what does um, Nima say here in the beginning, Dear Lakpa, 
Lakwa is brother's name. So dear Lakwa, I got your letter yesterday. Thank you for telling me all about our parents and yourself. I'm doing well here and thinking of returning home during Losar. I'm excited to know that uh, you want to improve your English. I think you are very conscious about the importance of English as an international language. Okay, you can see a bold-faced word here, conscious, right? So conscious, conscious means here to be aware of something. Be aware, that is conscious. So in the beginning part of the letter, what Nima says, Nima just gives the beginning, you know, says it is an informal letter. There are almost, you know, varieties of letters are there, but it is an informal letter. That's why uh, she's writing some, you know, sentences, some structure here informally. Uh, informal kind of words or structures are used. So, uh, it is the beginning. I think you're very concerned about the importance of English and, as an international language. This means um, from the later, from the earlier later, previous later, maybe uh, she knows, sister Nima knows that uh, um, he is very conscious about the importance of international language, English as an international language. As you all know, English is an international language. So, so here comes another uh, second paragraph. As you have asked me, I am giving, uh, some, giving you some suggestions on how you can have better performance in the English language, both verbally and in the written form. Again, uh, you can see here bold-faced words here. Performance means act of uh, performing, you know. You perform means you act. This is an act, performance. And verbally means in the spoken form. And written form and spoken form, this is. So what she says here, she is giving some suggestions on how to improve English. So here, uh, next, in the next paragraph, there are suggestions, list of suggestions given by Nima, and please don't forget to underline wherever you find the suggestions here, okay? Uh, okay, here it goes like this. You should always try to communicate in English with your English teacher and friends. Communicate means here, uh, share ideas, right? Communicate means interact, to have interaction, or to talk to somebody and give messages, convey messages. So you should always try to communicate English in English with your English teacher and friends. This is the first suggestion. You look at the structure here. You, subject, should, plus main verb. That is infinitive verb, verb one. So you should always try to communicate in English with your English teacher and friends. It means this is one of the structures uh, that you can use to give suggestions whenever or whenever required. Listening to radio programs in English could be an interesting way. Look at this. For Nima, listening to radio programs in English could be a better or very interesting way to learn English, to improve English. So, why don't you buy a radio for yourself and listen to such programs? This is one suggestion. Why don't you buy radio for yourself? This is the structure. Look at this. Why don't you? Why don't you plus verb? Why don't you buy? Why don't you get like this? So why don't you buy a radio for yourself and listen to such programs? This is the suggestion. Next, for better pronunciation, copying people could be effective. For this, what do you do? As you have listened to any new word, you ought to repeat it. Look at the structure here one more time. Uh, you ought to, ought to plus main verb. This is another structure, you can underline this. You ought to repeat it. This is how we give suggestion. It means Nima gives suggestion here um, to do what? To repeat the pronunciation. Look, um, or to repeat, to do what? To copy people. Whenever they are good speakers, or if uh, they are good people, uh, good speakers of English especially, you have to communicate, you have, you have to imitate, or you have to copy their sounds, uh, their you know, structures, uh, words, vocabs, or whatever. Next, uh, let's continue again. As you listen to any new word, you ought to repeat it. Uh, another, using, using an English dictionary is another effective way to learn the language. You had better buy a good English dictionary 
and use it. What is next suggestion? Next suggestion is you had better buy a good English dictionary and use it. You had better. This is one more structure here to give suggestion. And Nima suggests her brother to buy what? To buy a good English dictionary and use it. You know my English was not that good when I was in Nepal, but now I feel it's great. It means, what does she feel about her English now? Now she thinks her English is good. Her English is great. But in the past, it was not that good. It means it was not nice. I have to speak to it all the time, she says. Why she is saying this? It's because when you speak the same thing again and again, or time and again, your English or your language, not only English, whatever language you want to learn, you can easily learn. Because for speaking a language, uh, you need to have frequent practice. And language is always meant for speaking, first and foremost uh, thing. I picked up pronunciation. Let's continue here. I picked up pronunciation and expressions one by one, she says. So it means while learning English, you have to be aware of pronunciation and expressions, you know, structures, words, and how we express that. How about talking to the foreign tourists when come to visit, when, uh, who come to visit our area? It means, uh, this is another suggestion. How about talking? How about plus verb ing? This is uh, the structure here. How about talking? How about going? Like this. We can make different structures here. But here, right now, uh, she says, uh, she is just uh, uh, suggesting her brother to speak or uh, to talk to the foreign tourist who, have, who are native speakers and who have better English. And uh, from them, we, we can learn so many things. They will be happy to know about our village. Means uh, when we speak to the tourist, to the foreigners, what happens? They also become happy. Be they become happy to talk to a student uh, from from where? From Nepal, you know. So they will be happy to know about our village and our its beauty and a student and you would. Uh, Okay, it's beauty from a student and you would benefit with new English words and expressions. I have heard that the education related offices in Nepal have been developing and distributing different audiovisual materials. I would like to highlight this word here. Benefit, benefit means take advantage or uh, to be benefited, you know. Uh, so when you speak to a foreign tourist or a foreigner, uh, there are both way advantages, you know. Uh, the tourist also can learn things from you, and you also learn things from them, right? So she suggests to learn to speak to the foreigners. I have heard that the education-related offices in Nepal have been developing and distributing different audiovisual visual materials and learning English. In Nepal, uh, like we have Janak Shichya Samagri uh, Kendra, or there are different, you know, um, like CDC, there are departments, some uh, government offices that develop these kind of materials. Uh, you can get them from the market. Uh, okay, if I were you, now please um, look at this structure once more. If I were you, I would talk to teachers about them too. If I were you, I were you means uh, this is how we express uh, or how we advise or we suggest. If I were you, I would do this. If I were you, I would talk to teachers about them too. Means I would uh, talk to the teacher, teachers uh, about the audiovisual materials our government offices provide. It means she is not saying that she uh, she would talk to them, to talk to the teachers. She says she asks um, her brother to talk to the teachers about those materials, right? They are developed by government offices. So I guess. These materials, I guess, must have been developed considering the average performance level of the Nepalese students. Wouldn't it be better if uh, you got some of them for your practice? Yes. It means, he says, please get the audiovisual materials for your practice. Now, next paragraph here. Going through your letter, I can understand that you have a lot of knowledge on the importance of the English language. I would like to add here that as a lingua franca, English has much more significance than what you have written. Lingua franca, 
this is how this is common language you know lingua franca means a language used commonly uh, especially um, you know english is an international language and it is a common language in uh, almost um, many parts you know almost all the parts of the world so it is a lingua franca common language Expr uh, okay english has much more significance significance is importance you know it's the, it's the state of being important significant so you know people can have better understanding and respect for each other only when they are able to communicate here in this paragraph nima highlights the importance of english language students remember if you are writing an essay um, in the classroom or in, in the examination hall you just need to have some ideas about the importance of english language you know english is an international language it is international language um, and not only that it is important in many ways and she is highlighting the extra you know uh, importance significance more than lakwa already knows right so you know people can have better understanding and respect for each other only when they are able to communicate able to share the ideas so th this is uh, english english helps us to share the ideas and to communicate next since the english language has been serving as an effective tool for communication worldwide it helps people of different nationalities to understand each other's culture values and sentiments sentiments means feelings so to understand the other's cultures values and sentiments what do you have to do you have to use a common language that is english now english helps us to understand each other or uh, for for the varieties of people you know of whatever nationalities they are they uh, it helps us or it helps them to communicate and next this way it serves as a powerful means to promote fraternity fraternity is like brotherhood or it's a companionship means brotherhood means having the same kind of feelings having the same same kind of sentiments things like that that unites us together so people means it is it is a powerful means to promote fraternity that results in better relations among individuals societies and cultures sorry countries these attributes definitely contribute to world peace attributes means qualities so these are the qualities of english language which help which contribute to world peace means to maintain or to keep peace in the world lastly hope i have been able to suggest on the ways you could improve your english language as i come home i will bring you some audio visual materials on how the native speakers use english it means nima is going to bring what going to bring some audio visual materials that that could help lakpa in improving his english right next that's all for now looking forward to your next later best regards nima this is the ending uh closing part of the letter right best regards nima nima is the name signature so in the letter what do you uh, what do you found i hope you understood the letter in the letter nima has given some suggestions or she has given uh, some suggestions to improve english and not only that she also highlights she also talks about the importance of english language and here now uh, this is the time for exercises let me take you to the first exercise here in your textbook uh, this is enrich your vocabulary from the letter find the words which are similar in meaning to these words aware act performed interact common language qualities and companionship these are the main words um, given in your text uh, textbook in your exercise in number 1 now let me tell you I, i think i have already uh, given you words or similar words for these and once again i would like to highlight this aware aware can you guess what is the meaning aware so for this let me take you back to the where uh, to the beginning almost beginning of okay in this paragraph you can see one highlighted word right this is conscious this is the word a next word another word that gives the same meaning similar meaning so this is conscious aware means 
consists. Now, again, second word, act performed. This, this means performance. So, can you get the word from the text for performance? Yes, it is there in the third line of this paragraph. Performance. Performance means act performed. Again, let me take you back to this. Interact. Interact means, can you guess? Interact means communicate. So, interact means communicate. You, uh, you have got this somewhere uh, here in this paragraph. Yes, communicate over there. And there are, uh, in many places, you can see the word communicate. You should always try to communicate in English. Communicate means interact. Interact means sharing the idea, talking to each other and getting to know. Next, qualities. Qualities means, okay, you, um, you might have remembered what I told you earlier. I've already told, uh, told you the meaning of this word. It is there, right? Highlighted. Attributes. Qualities means attributes. Next, companionship. This, this is the last word over here. Companionship. Companionship, it is like friendship. It is like brotherhood. But what is the word there in the text? It is uh, there. Yes, you can see this word here, fraternity. Fraternity means what? It means brotherhood. It means companionship. So I didn't write here um, on the board of this. Uh, it is because you have already got the highlighted words here in the text. Now, let me take you to the second exercise. That is matching. Read and match. Please have a look on the board. You can see it in your textbook as well. I think it's not that much difficult, but okay, anyway, anyway, we have to do this. Read and match. Match the expressions under column A with their continuations under B. You can see side A and side B colon A and B. So, continuation of the sentence. On side B, there are the parts of, you know, broken parts of the sentences that complement or that are the continuations of the beginning, you know, of these parts, side A. Like, exam, for example, number A, Nima advises. Now, you have to complete the sentence yourself, right? Can you complete it? Please try your, uh, try your best. Nima advises where? Is it the first one? Could be an effective way to learn the language? No. Nima advises Lakwa to use English while talking to friends and his English teacher, right? Yes. This is the answer. So uh, this is the continuation of the first one. Now, similarly, we have, we have number B. Lakwa lives. Lives where? Can you see? Somewhere? Yes. Lakwa lives somewhere in Nepal. From the text also, you have already got the idea. Uh, he lives in Nepal, but the place is not exactly given. But she says, uh, brother is in Nepal. And she is coming to Nepal at Losar. So what is uh, for this? Somewhere in Nepal. Number five. Now is number six. The English language. Can you complete? The English language uh, could be an effective way, is it? No. Produce and distribute audiovisual materials, is it? No. Could help promote better relations in the world. Yes. This is the thing. In the you know text also, in the letter also, uh, you saw. For fraternity, you know, to, to develop fraternity, brotherhood, English is important. So the English language could, this is the continuation. The English language could help uh, promote better relations in the world. Next, number D. Some education related offices in Nepal, what they do? They produce and distribute audiovisual materials for Nepalese students, right? 
Yes, that's given there. I elaborated it while reading the letter. Next answer for this one is this one. Now, using a dictionary of the target language, there is only one left. That is, using a dictionary of the target language could be an effective way to learn the language. This is the first part, first one on the other side. I hope you got this, got the idea. Now, we have true and false exercise. Again, let me take you back on the screen. Yes, true or false for number three. Uh, you can see on the screen. Read the letter again and decide whether the following sentences are true or false. Number A. Sister is advising as asked for by a brother. Sister is advising as asked by um, her brother. Is it right? Is it true? Yes, it is. It's true. So number A is true. Right? Uh, for number B, Lakpa is planning to visit Nima during Losar. Do you think so? Lakpa is planning to visit Nima during Losar? Or just opposite? Yes, opposite, quite reverse. It is not Lakpa who is planning to visit Nima. It is Nima who is planning to visit Lakpa because she is coming back to Nepal from Chester, UK. So this is false. Number B, false answer. Number C, uh, the English language is the only international language. Do you think so? English is the only international language? No. English is one of the international languages. It means there are other languages which are international or internationally used. So English is one of them, not English is only the language, no. So this is again false, remember. Number D, Nima suggested brother that he should never use his native language. Nima suggested brother that he should never use, native language means Nepali. Is it? No. Nima advises, Nima suggests him to speak to the foreigners. But this does not mean that uh, he should never speak Nepali. There is no mention of this kind of thing there in the letter. That's why it is again false. And next, two remaining here. Number E, communicating in the target language helps build up mastery over it. Do you think so? Yes? We, we agree. We think it's right. Communicating in the target language Helps, helps build up mastery over it. means Mastery over means getting excellence, getting uh, competence, you know, competence in the language. Your, your language becomes better while communicating in the target language. English, if you want to learn English, English is your target language. And that's why you have to use that to get better performance, right? So this is true. Now the last one, number F. Love, fraternity, and respect for others are some of the qualities of humanity. Love, fraternity, and respect for others are some of the qualities of humanity. Don't you think this is a part of humanity? Being, uh, being lovable means being human. Fraternity, respect, yes, that's true, that's fine. That's why Nima says in the, almost, in the, um, almost at the end of the letter, she says, these things are uh, the things that help us you know, to unite the world or to make the world peaceful, right? So these are the things. Now here we have another, one more exercise. That is exercise number four. For this, let me show you the questions and write answers if possible. Here, the first question is, okay, let me put it here. Have a look and try to understand. Okay, read an answer in number four. This is comprehension questions. Read an answer. Here, what do you see? Number A, where and when was this letter written? I guess you found this, you can just have a look at the beginning of the letter. Here it is. Please have a look on the screen. 
the river tree field, Chester, UK. This is the name of the address, you know, the name of the place. And 21 April, this is 21st April 2015, this is date. So what do you have to write here? For this question, we have to write, uh, okay, let me write the answer for number A. For number A, answer is, this letter was written, this letter was written from where? From River Deep Field, right? Is it? Yes, the River Deep Field. The River Deep Field. Is it? Deep Field? Chester, UK, right? Chester. You can simply write Chester, UK. Chester, UK. When? There is another part, you know, when? It is, okay, on 21st April 2015. On 21st April 2015. This is simply the answer. The letter was written, or this letter was written from the River Deep Field, Chester, UK, on 21 April 2015. This is the answer for number A. Likewise, we have question, second question. The second question is, let me put just over here. Second question is, as suggested in the letter, what are some of the ways to improve English? Do you apply one of the ways personally? It says, you know, we have to give ways to improve English. What are the ways to improve English? Have you remembered? As I told, uh, told you earlier, or explained you earlier, from the letter um, by Nima, uh, there are some ways, like listening to the radio programs in English, uh, using English dictionary, or speaking to the foreigners or native speakers of English. So these are some ways, you know, and um, copying others, that is also another. So there are some ways, you have to just highlight, you have to write them. Uh, how you write the answer? You write, some of the ways to improve English are listening to the English programs in English, or listening to the radio programs in English, like that, comma, then give some others, um, list, you just make a list of them. And it says, one more question is there, do you apply any of the ways personally? It is in our, up to you. Do you apply or not? Do, uh, do you have uh, an English dictionary or not? Or do you want to buy an English dictionary or not? So uh, do you listen to the English programs or not? Or do you speak to the foreigners or not? If you uh, apply any of the ways personally, just write that one. Yes, I apply this idea. I apply um, the first one, listening to the radio programs in English. If you do, if you don't, um, write what you do to improve your English, right? So I left this question up to you. Please do this and uh, ask your subject teacher uh, if any help is required. Next one is question number C. For question number C, let me erase here first. Question number C, according to Nima, what is interesting way? What is the interesting way? What is an interesting way of learning English? This is in the beginning. Let me show you to the text. Uh, okay, in the text. It is there somewhere. Can you see it? Here it is. Listening to radio programs in English could be an interesting way. Don't you think this is the answer? Interesting way. We are asked this in the question number C. Interesting way. So you have to write this one. Listening to radio programs in English could be an interesting way. Next question is number D. Okay. How does the writer feel about her own performance in the English language? How does the writer feel about her own performance in the English language? I'm not writing this right on the board. Uh, I would like to show you here in the text somewhere. Uh, it says the writer's feeling, right, about English. 
it is here. You know my English was not that good when I was in Nepal, but now, but now I feel it's great. It means what? It means what you have to write? The writer feels, okay, write answer like this. The writer, or you can write simply C, the writer feels that our English is simply good or is great. Now, though it was not that much good in the past. So you can simply write that one. And here we have got one or two more questions. Next question is, okay, let me remove these first. Next one is, when will Nima come home and what will she bring for her brother? You can, for the answer, you can see almost at the end of the letter. When will Nima come home? It is in the beginning. Nima is coming home. When? Nima will come home during Losar, right? And what will she bring? This is at the end of the text. You can see over there. OK. Uh, it is almost at the end. Yes, I will bring some audiovisual materials on how the native speakers use English. It means she's going to bring some audiovisual materials, right? So what do you write the answer? She will bring audiovisual materials for her brother, for Lakpa. Next, the last but not the least, one more question. Which of the ways suggested by Nima do you prefer? Why do you think so? I leave this question up to you. Uh, which of the ways suggested by Nima do you prefer? Means, uh, give you an idea. Which one, which idea do you like? Do you prefer? Why? Give reason. There are different ways, I, as I told you earlier. Uh, there are ways of learning English, improving English, and which one do you think is better or is the best? So give you an idea with reason. And next, uh, lastly, we have one more uh, question. I would like to take you here to this. Sorry. Put into practice section, right? Nima has advised her brother to do different things to help, your, to help him improve his English language. Some people may like to learn uh, your native language and prepare a list of any five activities that will help them to learn your language better and read them out in the forms of suggestions. So uh, you, you may begin like this. My native language is Nepali, or maybe you, you have different language. Uh, you, you belong to different community, means uh, where people speak different language there. Just you can mention your language name. If you want to learn it, you should what? You should do this or do that. Just give suggestions like Nima has given, OK? You are better, means use the varieties of structures here. Sometimes you use, you should plus main verb. Then sometimes you use, you are better. For your help, I have um, included some structures here. I've taken in some examples from the text itself, and some are new there. So in the beginning, what is she? You see, you should use this structure. That's already in the text, and I did it. And you, uh, why don't you? This is also, also there in the text. You can follow this structure. Next one is, as you listen to any new word, you ought to. Ought to is also there from the text, you know, in the text. So you are better. This is also there. How about plus ing, of ing form. You can use this structure, like, uh, like how about buying a new uh, dictionary? Or how about buying a radio to listen to the English programs like this? Or uh, for your language, you know, here this time, you're not writing about your English. You're writing about uh, how people can improve your um, language, uh, your native language, how, can, how they can learn Nepali or some other language. Uh, if I were you, you, you can use this structure as well. If I were you, I would plus main verb like this, and you can also um, have some other ideas like let's, uh, let's do this or let's uh, something like that uh, we're using main verb. Why don't you try plus verb, ing form? This can be another option. Why not plus verb? Why not buy an English dictionary like this? Uh, why not buy a Nepali dictionary? Why not buy a Newari dictionary like this? 
And can't you? Uh, this is for a strong suggestion. It's, it's not generally used. Okay, you can use if you like. Uh, but uh, there are the ways to use structures to give suggestions, right? Now, we have almost come to the end. Hope that uh, you understood the text and you got the ideas about the exercises. Please, students, do or do practice in your copy. Write the answers. Do all the exercises completely and get checked by your English teacher. Uh, okay, this much for today. Hope that you enjoyed. Um, please have a wonderful time ahead. Thank you. Namaste.